Welcome back everyone to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers Week's Winners Edition, where we will be taking a look at the biggest winners and losers from the week June 16th to June 22nd. But before we do that, I want to let you guys know about the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield discount code, as well as a TCG Player affiliate link. And any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our losers list off here, today with Solvala, Heart of the Wilds from Commander Modern Horizons 3. This mythic is down 55.87% this week from $9.20 to $4.06 for its market price, and its average price is $6.16. Harbinger of the Seas, and this is the extended copy from Modern Horizons 3, down 56.56% from $11.35 to $4.93 for its market price, and its average price is $8. Magda, Brazen Outlaw from the Secret Layer series, down 56.56% from $12.66 to $5.50 for its market price, and its average price is $6. Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath from Commander Modern Horizons 3. This mythic is down 59% today from $6.27 to $2.57 for its market price, and its average price is $3.49. Endurance, and this is the special guest version of the card, down 60.87% from $32.35 to $12.66 for its market price, and its average price is $15.73. Primal Prayers, and this is the borderless copy from Modern Horizons 3. It is down 61.65% this week from $5.71 to $2.19 for its market price, and its average price is $3. Doomblade from the Secret Layer series down 66.43% from $11.26 to $3.78 for its market price, and its average price is $3.79. Brash Taunter from the Secret Layer series as well down 66.49% this week from $16.89 to $5.66 for its market price, and its average price is $5.22. Shelter from the Miku Secret Layer series, down 68.58% this week from $13.05 to $4.10 for its market price, and its average price is $5.07. Miku's Spark, which is also Chandra's Ignition from that same Secret Layer series, down 70.12% from $17 to $5.08 for its market price, and its average price is $7. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the week. And we are going to start that list off here with... Matter Reshaper from Oath of the Gatewatch. This Eldrazi went up by 240.10% this week from $0.73 cents to $2.49 for its market price, and its average price is $1.85. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $2.56 for its market price, and its average price is $3.83. And the Commander Masters copy sitting at $1.02 for its market price, and its average price is basically the same. And the Borderless Secret Layer series copy sitting at $5.62 for its market price, and its average price is $6.03. And this card is seeing some modern play in Eldrazi Tron decks, however it's seeing a ton of play in Eldrazi Commanders like Ululek Fuse Atrocity and Zuladoc Void Gorger. Next winner is Soul Spike from Cold Snap. This card is one up by 250.92% this week from $6 to $21.09 for its market price, and its average price is $32.39. And a lot of the reasons why this card is going up is due to Necro Dominance from Modern Horizons 3 interacting with this card. Now it is being played though in the modern format in Mono Black Midrange, Mono Black Scam, Rakdos Burn, and Mono Black Burn as well. And the next winner on our list is Kozlux Command from Modern Horizons 3. This rare has went up by 267.11% from $3.77 to $13.84 for its market price, and its average price is $17. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $13.38 for its market price, and its average price is $38.75. This card is seeing a lot of modern play in Eldrazi decks as well as Eldrazi Tron and Through the Breach, but it's also being played in the commander format in one of the newest commanders, Ulek Fused Atrocity. Next winner is Ren's Resolve from March to the Machine. This common has went up by 294.74% this week from $0.57 cents to $2.25 for its market price, and its average price is $2.08. And this card is seeing a lot of modern play right now in Ruby Storm decks, however also sees a lot of popper play in Burn and Mono Red Synthesizer. Next up here is Skittering Cicada from Commander Masters. 
This card is up 305.76% from $4 to $16.19 for its market price, and its average price is $16.53, and the extended art copy is sitting at $12.59 for its market price, and its average price is $19.94, and you can find this card in the Commander Masters Precon, Eldrazi Unbound. This card is being played as well in one of the latest commanders, Ulek Views Atrocity. Flayer of Loyalties from Commander Masters This Eldrazi card has went up by 316.69% from $8.81 to $36.71 for its market price, and its average price is $38.90. And the extended art copy is sitting at $28 for its market price, and its average price is $32. And you can find this card as well in that Commander Masters Precon, Eldrazi Unbound. And of course, it's being played in the latest Commander Ulek Views Atrocity. Calamity of the Titans Another Commander Masters Eldrazi card up 340.54% from $2.96 to $13.04 for its market price, and its average price is $14.15, and the extended art copy is sitting at $6.85 for its market price, and its average price is $19. And yes, you can as well find this card in the Commander Masters Precon Eldrazi Unbound, and yes, it's being played in the latest Eldrazi Commander, Ulek Fused Atrocity. Next up is Herald of Hoofbeats from Commander March of the Machine. This rare has went up by 426.47% from $1.02 to $5.37 for its market price, and its average price is $9.95. And the extended art copy is sitting at $3.23 for its market price, and its average price is $2.27. And this card is being played in one of the latest commanders from Modern Horizons 3, Omo Queen of Asuva. And our final winner on our list this week is Sway of Illusion from Invasion. This uncommon card has went up by 722.58% from $0.93 cents to $7.65 for its market price, and its average price is $7.36. And this card is seeing a lot of commander play, and one of the latest legendary creatures released in Modern Horizons 3, Nadu Wind Wisdom. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering. Market Movers Weeks Winners Edition. It really means a lot to me if you guys hit that like button down below, gets these videos out in the algorithm, and gets these videos to more viewers. Also, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite mover of the day was, which cards most surprised to see on the list, and which cards you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos every single Saturday, so come back again next week for the week's winner's edition, or come back on Monday for the regular Market Mover series. With that being said, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day, and an even better weekend. Take care. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.